Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Chuck Diesel, aka The Lone Wolf, and we're here with my man. FTG Trap, you already know what's going on. Salute. And we gotta say a special thank you to the brand, Sake High, for doing what they do, hooking us up with this all natural, gluten free, vegetarian sake. And we're gonna take a shot to that. Let's do the shot. Let's go. Salute. Salute. All right, bro. So this is good. It is okay. It's sake, pretty good. It's sake, I... and it's fifteen percent for real. And this little oh yeah, and it said I ain't gonna play. <laughs> if you drink like two of these, you be feeling fine. Right. You have a nice little buzz. I don't doubt. Uh, oh, I met you. I believe this past summer. Yeah, yeah, at an event. Yeah. Oh, it's talk was sugar cane. Uh, yeah, release. Yeah, bro, that was actually crazy. It was a vibe. It was lit, and my cousin showed up, bro. Yeah, uh, he was in Sacramento, and he was just like, "Bro, I was staying at a girl's house. Can I come and fly out for America?" <laughs> and I was like, "I guess," but I'm at an event right now, yeah. bro. And then he got there, bro, like this. Yeah, and I was like. Chill. Yeah, yeah. Chill. And so, <laughs> so, 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 so that was the, my that was actually my first time meeting uh DJ Quick. Yeah. Um I had I had previously met Sugar Free a few times before. Um I ran into cocaine before. That was my first time meeting Battle Cat too. Yeah. Um oh man, it's just so many legends that was in the building. It was such a vibe, man. So many new people, this connection formed. So no, I had it. it's a. Uh, that's all. You never, you never know. You never man. know what's gonna happen. You never know. Yeah. So it's a blessing. Oh, what's it like when you get to meet somebody who's like a legend? I think for me, it's always the same thing. I, it's not like a starstruck moment, but yeah. it's a, it's a, like whoa. It's like a like relishing the moment, but I'm also outside myself, looking at myself in that moment. Because yeah. Like like meeting quick, it was like, bro, I grew up on your music. You're somebody right. that I. Really, you feel me? I really look up to musically, and so it's it's just a, it's like an out of body and in body experience at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's interesting because like you always be like, man, I can't wait to yeah. yeah you meet somebody and you just like, wow, that was dope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, oh, yeah. it's not as crazy as you think. Yeah, but at the same time, like. It's crazy because like this yeah. is real. This is really I'm happening. Bet. And so, it's, it's I, like I said, it's it's one of those moments like when you meet. I, I mean, I'm not in the sports, so a lot of people are in the sports, and you'll come across sports people, and they be like, "Oh, I can't believe I met such and such." That's like rap is my sport, or music rap right. is my sport. So when I run into the legends and, and people I admire, I'll be like, "Man, do you know who you is? Like, do you, but do you know who you are to me? Like, it, it means a." It means a lot to us. No, so. oh, yeah, one hundred percent straight up. Oh, uh, did you need to grab something, bro? Like, if you oh, go, I need to leave her fast there. Oh, All right, yeah. If you go this way, you're straight. You're not cool. on camera. Cool. Uh, one thing that I had to like real quick remind myself. Yeah. Is that if you're here, it's for a reason. Yeah. Cause I, it's easy to start looking at people who are doing what you want to do, right? Or doing what you think you should be doing, and either to get like jaded. Or jealous. You feel me? It's like, man, I could do that too. It's like, <laughs> you have to, yeah? yeah? You feel me? Or it's like, man, maybe I'm not not as good. It's like, why would you think that? Yeah. Like, you should, like you said, acknowledge that I'm here. Right. But also look at it from the outside and be like, all right, what what is going on? How can I, and how can I expand on this moment? Yeah. Because a lot of people get in places and they won't, uh, they won't network. Or yeah. they like like you I and I see it all the time. It'd be like dudes that be too cool for school and you know, and they'll they'll be like, Oh, I'm not gonna go talk to X, Y, and Z person. No, I'm yeah. not gonna look at like if they're in the same room as me, we're in the same space, we're sharing yeah. the same space, then listen, we're supposed to be mingling. Bro, yeah. Because you never know what door, you feel me, that person may have the 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 other key to a door you you've been trying to get in. Or just the connection, like, just might yeah. be like, bro, I fuck with you. Like, oh, God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, God. I get nothing out of my yeah. I just met this nigga, bro. And who's I would have never guessed that this nigga was just cool. Yeah. Like, all right, bet. Yeah. Like, yeah. People about, oh, yeah. their industry. Or some people, I'm from a small town, bro. Where? Small. Ohio, Worcester, Ohio. 30,000 people. Man, my mom was born in, uh, well, her family. 
She was born in Monrovia, but her family's from Youngstown, Ohio. Oh, oh bet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, bro. So, like, I just go home sometimes. Yeah. And niggas, like, people tell me I'm not from there. I'm like, what? <laughs> I met this lady probably twice my age. Yeah. And she was like, where are you from, young like, man? Like, the street? <laughs> right. I'm like, no, you're not. I'm like, why not? Why? Right. <laughs> She's like, you don't look like it. You're not dressed like it. Bro, I was just wearing a button down. Button down yeah. and some blue jeans. I was like, what? It was too much for her to handle. What are you talking about? It's like, you just don't look like you fit in here. And I was like, well, then I guess it's a good thing that yeah. I left then, bro. Like, yeah. this is my model. Like, bottom yeah. here. I'm from here. So, <laughs> when they see just like Hollywood, they're like, oh, rich people. Or, oh, um, you feel me? It's like, they, they don't feel as if there's anything they could possibly relate to. Right. And I'm like, bro, you still people. At the end of the day, we still people. And honestly, that's when, like, going back to the, the, the other question is, like, when you realize that that person is just a person, no matter how dope or how, you know, elevated, it's like, you realize that that's one of those things that have never allowed me to be starstruck. Yeah. I've been awed a million times. Yeah. But the starstruck is because they're a person just like you, and if they can do it, then you I can do it. Yeah. yeah. And I was trying to tell people, it's like, bro, don't compare or think about better or worse. Just take away what you can. Yeah. And if there's something you can learn, apply it. Because if they are better, cool. Yeah. Use it to make yourself better. Right. And if they're worse, cool. You, you know what worse. not to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a win. That's a win. All right. All right. Let me adjust this. It's because it's too long. It was looking good on my PLV, though. I ain't gonna hold you. The, 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 the mm. bright to the blue the background. For the, the, yeah. That. Yeah. Well, it's, it's it giving depth. Yeah. But I'm going to send you all of this for you to have for yourself as well if you want to use Also, yeah. It's got you on there. But yeah, man. So how long have you been out this way? Um, well, I was born in Chicago. I moved to California when I was like two or three. Right, I don't remember you. moving out here. Um, but uh, like my earliest memories, I was probably like in Pasadena. Yeah. Then I moved to... Uh, Bakersfield for like three, four years, and then we moved to Long Beach. So I, I'm from Long Beach, like yeah. I represent Long Beach. Um, and then I, I grew up mostly between Long Beach and the Valley. My dad lived in the right. Valley, my mom lived in the beach, and so we would go back and forth. And then uh, I ended up moving to the IE, so I still got dumb respect for the IE, it's Inland Empire. Yeah. Like that's actually where I started. Um, transferring from poetry to, to rap, like to making music. And um and then from there, man, I'd have been all over, like all over the United States. I'd have been everywhere. And and every time, um every time I go somewhere, I kinda take a piece of where I've been and, and form and like and accumulate that into the to the bag. But but I've been in California since I was two. All right, bet, bet. Well, I, I heard of Chicago, East yeah. Coast. Well, it's Midwest. It's no Mid. It's Midwest. But so is Ohio. What if I'm saying, oh, we can call both. Yeah, that's why I, I just said the East wow. Coast. Mainly, my family is from New York for real. Ooh, so, like, that's the East Coast. I love. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, love it. Yeah. I lived in Jersey. I shout out to to Pennsylvania. Shout out to Easton, Allentown, Philly. Shout out to you. know what I'm saying. Uh, what it was Newark? Shout out to Orange, East Orange. You feel me? Shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out to the Bronx. Yeah, shout out to Uber Live. I gotta hit. Yeah, I've been every. Like we talk, it's it's about, it. then yeah. we talk about any other section, and I'm gonna talk about them. But right now we're talking East Coast. So you feel me? Shout out to Youngstown. Shout out. You feel me? No, it's so funny, Youngstown, bro. Like it's so crazy when I meet other people from small towns in Ohio. Yeah, all right, like, they get it. <laughs> we made it, bro. Man, I. But uh. The second thing is you said... Um, I didn't take it. Just, yeah, 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 don't play. Yeah, don't play. You got to do shot for shot. And, and this, 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 this his drink chat. You oh, know what I'm saying? Sake like Sundays. Sake drink chat. Oh, yeah. So you yeah. To, You feel me? It's about a bottle. It's yeah, about yeah, bottle. yeah. It's like drinking. We're, we're a strong yeah. bottle of wine. Oh, um, what that? Fine. But uh, you said it's transferring from poetry to rap. Yeah. That's something that I can, like, coincide with because I started off writing a whole lot more poetry and then yeah. rap because it felt more comfortable for, for me. For real. Oh, why did you choose poetry before rap? Um, I never looked at rap like, like, first off, I'm a, I'm a huge nerd. You feel me? Like, I'm a humongous nerd. I'm goofy as fuck. You feel me? Like, I'm street and all that, that shit, but that was later. You feel right. me? Like, because of the stipulations of environment and life and, and you know, upbringing a family shit like that but um 
at heart, it was it was something that it was like the art form of it was so pure. It was really pretty. It was something a way to it was like um, they used to call me. I don't know how oh you know I come I grew up in the nineties, so it was a cartoon called Doug, and he would always write in his diary, and everybody used to call me Black Doug. That's like, funny. Yeah, because I would always just be in the class and I'd just be writing, you know, right, yeah. right, right, right. And so, um, not to mention my nose kind of big. So that's funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like, for me, it, it was, like, just a way to get out my feelings and being being able to express myself without the constrictions of a lot of different things. And then, uh, like I said, being a nerd, it's like you have, you have, you see things that other people may not see or they may not speak on. So as an artist in general, your job is to is to put what you see into a format that can express your vision, your feelings, your uh, your POV, you know, to the world yeah. in, in the best light, or sometimes the darkest, or the grimmest, or just the, the realest. Yeah, yeah, to, to just just to relay a, a, a emotion and a feeling. Yeah, and then so that's how it started for me. But then with the transferring that into like music or rap, it was like uh, it was like the like around like battle rap time so when battle rap came out uh it was like right around like battle rap smack dvd uh, <laughs> all of this yeah. you feel me like people like at my school it was like battles no nice. so i was like oh i could probably do that you know really? like, like i could probably i could probably That's, you know respect, bro. Yeah. i did not want to yeah i did not want to. no it's i got a whole story it's crazy, crazy bro like like it's it's okay so I, there's one thing of like I think I can do that. Right, and doing it right, right. So I would always be at the the, the ciphers. They doing their thing, and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm listening to. He's waiting wait for you. Yeah. Oh, like, you rap? Yeah. Like, yeah. I've been what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So 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 I'm writing raps, and then I'm you know my brother. And, you know he's not biological, but we blood couldn't make us closer. Yeah. So my bro, bro Sahib, he used to see me writing in my journal. One day he pick up my journal and he like. Bro, what is this? Like, right. like this is kind of hard. Like, but can you rap it? And so I'm like, yeah, I, I, you know, I can rap it. I hear you. You feel me? So then going into that, I, I, I ended up starting to rap, and then he, you know, he played me, but only in a good way. You feel me? So he, had, what he did is he waited till he always seen me at the ciphers. He waited till everybody was doing their thing and pushed me in the middle. And now, like, the spotlight is on me. You yeah. feel me? So now I'm looking at it like. I'm getting eight up though, cause mind you, I'm I'm like five seven at the time. I'm five seven in fact. I'm like <laughs> humongous, big, short. You feel me? I, I did not hit my growth spurt until the the summer right before senior year. So it's like it's not looking good for your boy. Saw that. Saw that. So so long story short. So I just like I'm getting ate up by like the hottest two dudes in the school, and yeah. they was like, bro, you better say one of them joints that was in that book. So when he comes out, this <laughs> one, <way, laughs> so so he got to repack me, you feel me? And then um, so so once I just I just start going off of what was in my book, and then by the, like, I'm watching the reaction of the crowd, they like, whoa, whoa, whoa! And so that was the first time for me, like how somebody would be like, oh, I hit the game when it shot, yeah. or I did, you know, I scored two touchdowns, whatever it was for them. For me, that was my moment. Like, yeah. oh, y'all can see me, you feel yeah. me? Like. And so, for instance, since then, I never really looked back. I've taken time off, right? And I've restructured and all of that, but I never like that was the moment that defined me as wanting to do music for sure. No, for sure. Yeah. Do you feel like? Uh, well, let me ask you this. Actually, do you still write poetry separate from music? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I was just about to say, for me, I was like, I chose poetry because it made more sense, right? Than rap. Is I have realized I like could write a rap yeah but i was still figuring out what do i talk about how do i say it yeah, like because yeah. there's so much influence because everything i listen to but it's like nigga it's not yeah i poetry. started off as a battle rapper too yeah, yeah. Talking about killing niggas and then i was like bro and that's a, that's and, and, what are you doing <laughs> and, 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 and the rabbit hole gets deep when you think of stuff like that right because when i started going down the killing nigga rap and uh this and that rap this was way before then it got to a point where I'm really doing these things that I was rapping about four or five years ago. Now this is really my life. So it's like, like how much? This how much yeah, 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 bro. Then so I, I have, have to you feel put like, in my own head is something I have to do because yeah, it's what I'm told. Like, like it's yeah, a, it's you a, make your life. You make it, bro. You yeah. make your life. Create your own reality. Like, oh my God. So I think, like, as far as a poet, as a poet, 
you have a better, a different footing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So you have a, a footing that where it's like I'm creating everything that I want to create and I'm reflecting on what's thing. going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a way to get out everything you couldn't go say to somebody. Because so, some shit don't fit in a, in a format of... Of a 16. No, nah, or even the rhyme scheme. Yeah. Like, you have it, and then you like, let me, and you finish it, like, that was like three times as long. <laughs> that was everything. So long. Long. That was like, one line. But if you say it right, yeah. you can't, okay, it's hard to rap that point. Yeah. You're going to have a big Sean. <laughs> a big Boy. Sean run off. Yeah, yeah, it's just forever, all day. Yeah. Like, I mean, not the end of the Fuck you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, that's sad. Big Sean was one of my favorite rappers for a minute. Yeah. Big Sean is definitely one of... I think he's a underlooked goat. And I just say... I can agree with that. If we talk about, like, the era he came up with. Because, yeah. like, Drake, Wiz, even Pusha T. You feel me? Yeah. I feel like Pusha T gets a more higher look than Big Sean at this point in time right now. Dang. You know what, though? I, I say this about that because... I, I I rock with Big Sean, and like I said, he's one of one of these people. A that I look at it like you did what you. It's just a it's a it's a slippery slope. Rappers are fickle fickle chick. See, mm -hmm. when it came to Wale, those are nice words. Mm -hmm. I feel like Wale was like just not ready, not him, yeah. but people weren't ready yeah. for Wale. You feel me? Yeah. Cause like he started rapping. Uh huh. And it was like, that's not why I liked you, bro. Like, well, when when did you get introduced? You like him for the dance music or what? No, nah, I like my favorite Wale song is the one when he did the all the Seinfeld stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. One of the songs off of there. Yeah. One of my favorite Wale songs. That was one of the that, it's crazy because that album was fucking with gas. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. 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 Um I, I dig that. I dig that. Like, the first one, I ain't even gonna lie, the first song that really put me on uh, Wale was the one with uh, Waka Flocka. And then that that was like my, like, I, I heard him before, but I wasn't a fan. Yeah. So when I heard him gas over that, I was like, let me go check him out. And see, I knew he had bars. Yeah. But it's the way he puts his bars together. Man. He, it's not for everybody. Yeah. And so it's like they tried to throw him on with Ross and Meek. And it's like, bro, like, that's not I think that was more uh, personality, though, because he's very, uh, what do you call it? Not um, exo. And he's very introvert. You feel me? Like, I just, as soon as I seen him with Maybach music, I was just like, I why? never would have guessed. <laughs> you don't know how I know. I, like, I never would have guessed. That's crazy. Why are we doing this? Yeah, why are we doing this? Right. Right. Yeah, but but now, collaboration on that. I would not have placed you there. Sometimes yeah. you got to get in the game. I need the game. But I'm not mad. Yeah, but it was like once seeing the trajectory and hearing just how people talk about Wale Down, yeah. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, Frank Danford, boom. And now yeah, it's just yeah. like, oh, what did he drop now? Like, no shade, but right. it's also not like. He was dropping around the same time Drake blew up. Yep. Everybody checking for Drake. No, and you know, and that's crazy. Can't make the same same thing with Big Sean. Right. And that's why I said, like, yeah. you said one of the goats yeah. of that era. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Of trajectory. Man. My man started getting quiet. All right, it's really hard to it's really hard to compete with a machine like like young money, cash money for one. No. There's a, there's yes. really hard that. And then we're gonna we're, we're let's not forget Drake was wearing them wooden beads, you feel me? It was a long way from uh, what was what was the joint where, where everybody thought oh, it was yeah, a, a Trey song? Um, my oh, lad, replacement girl, replacement girl. You feel me? Um, and then uh, spin studio or whatever. Every moment, come on, you saying there? So it's like <laughs> yeah. I, I would say that because like him. Drake, Cole, like even Cole didn't get his, Cole. his original song. Cole was not getting like, his flowers. Cole didn't get his flowers at the time. Flowers. But his flows was way different. Exactly. It wasn't bad, but it was yeah. like, it wasn't, what is this? Like, it was just like, oh, he getting off. And yeah. I was like, undeniable, bro. Like, and so, 15 seconds in, what's happening? And it's a, it's a, like, it's crazy because for, for, mu for, for music, for me, like, I'm like, all their same age. Like, that's my age, bro. So yeah. I, I don't really, you know, normally do age and stuff. That's not how I was raised. But I will say that's my age bracket. But yeah. I look at that like, uh, I'm, I'm a West Coast person too. Like, And I, I don't really rap like a lot of West Coast people. So around the time that Drake came out and all these people came out, 
I was a uh, I was actually in the feds, and so I was like, oh, and and it, it used to it used to like kill me because they would be like, bro, like you harder than all them, you harder than all them, but I'm locked up. You feel yeah. me? Due to my you know, what I was doing. And so that, I was like, Lord, like, if you let me get out of Bro, here, I'm about to apply pressure. You feel me? I'm about to apply pressure in every you know arena. So then coming home, then right when I came home, Kendrick blew. And, I, mm. and it was like, and and at that time, like not so much now, but at that time, like we, everybody was like, Bro, I heard this song. I thought it was you. I heard this song. I thought it was you. That's and crazy. And so it's crazy for me to be like. No, it's not me, but dude, snapping. You right, know, right. Let me, let me check it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. so I could do that too. Yeah, but, but then it wasn't, it wasn't even like I could do that. It was more like at that point, I felt like maybe he took a spot. You feel me? So oh, I was man. in that mentality of like somebody got my spot type Before time. Me, yeah. And so and that put me in a, uh, in, a, in, a, um, in a perspective of what's for me is for me. Right. So that obviously means I needed more work. You feel me? I needed to do something else. And so it wasn't it wasn't really a problem. And then I love music so much that it was, I was able to take theirs for what what it was. Right. Then, Listen to it, man. Yeah. And so then I went to a, a, a place where I'd never been before in music. I started doing like dance, jerk, like jerking, dancing, ratchet. Like I never made party music yeah. ever. So then I spent the next like two years learning how to make songs that people wanted to hear. Dance. Dope stuff that people wanted to hear. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Cole did that. Like like from when you think about Cole then to all the things he had to do now. You feel me? Like you have to make music that people want to dance to. Yeah. So that's a whole different mindset. You gotta think of outside of what you want what you want to do. Yeah. And so then I did that. Then auto tune started blowing up. And so I was like, well let me figure I did a man Anybody who know me, you know that you could not get me on a song if I could not auto tune your. I, I was gonna auto tune the verse and the hook, and I'm doing the hook, or I'm not getting on your song. That's funny. I did that for at least two years until so I mastered it. It was so I mean, long. <laughs> if you want to get good at something, yeah, you can do it over and over. And they was like, "Bro, I know you guys. You like I rap, rap." Yeah, and they was, I'm, "I'm not doing nothing if I can't. I'm getting on your song. I'm about to auto tune and sing." No, I hear you. And I, I wasn't good at it. Yeah, at the time. <laughs> That's funny though. Like, yeah, nigga. Yeah. And I'm doing it. 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 And i am doing it 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 and i Shout out to standing on business. Shout out to standing on business. Said I'm going to do it and I did. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm personal with the guy. I love it. I love then it. it got to a point, honestly, it got to a point where people was like, yeah, yeah I need you on this song. Like, you going to sing on it? Yeah, I got you on this song. Like, yeah, how do you do something? You know, like, you know that one? Yeah, man, yeah give me something like that. That's what's kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, it's just like music is ever evolving and then I have so many things to pull from. Like, like just like I said, I you know I dropped it. I dropped the uh, reference to my age, so I got so much of hip hop to pull from. Bro, yeah. And then I have a lot of people that are in my like family bracket that I can go ask if they if it's something I didn't know. So like like the the kids from the Sugar Hill gang, like I they them they, they they not my blood family, but I'm close with them. You feel me? So I'm able to pull from that. It's like. Uh, corrupting and the dog pounds kids. I'm close with you know what I'm saying. Like I'm close with certain people. You feel me? So where I'm like, hey, if, if it's something like I already grew up on your parents' music. Right. Now we cool. Now let me. You know what I'm saying? Like let's let's do something else. Just a little taste test. Like, yeah. Mix it up. Yeah, yeah. man. And, and so just being able to pull from so many different things is it just it makes you well rounded. And I think as an artist, the more let's just put it here. Everything you hear on the radio right now is a remake of somebody's song. A lot of it. Nah, not even today. a lot of it. It's ninety nine point nine percent. We did a we did a we did a, we did a poll. We did a poll. We did a poll. Like two hours. We did a poll like, every. Oh God! There was out of twenty five songs, three were original. That's crazy. Out That's of twenty five songs, everything was a remake. Or like, a sample, or I'm gonna like, take I'm the verse from something, and that's something that I like when I realized how many artists who took lines. Yeah, bro, Wayne does it all the time. But the, see, that's a, that's the thing. Like when you do it, the first person that was really good at it that a lot of people may or may not know is Jay Z. Jay Z was really good at taking a line Absolutely. and making it his own. 
Whether it's an enemy, whether it's a friend, whether it was somebody I'm beefing with, I'm going to take this line and make it my own. You feel me? You made it a hot line. I made, I made it a hot song. song. You feel me? I remember so, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, so when people be, like, I, I, I know this is, like, everyone, I have a million brothers and sisters, right? Everybody is into sports and stuff like that. I'm the only one that's not. Yeah. You feel me? As far as my brothers is concerned. Rap is, music is my sport. Right. So, like, the way they know stats, I know music. Yeah. You feel me? And so... It's just really big that people don't be knowing like certain things, and I'll be like, "Oh, that's such and such song. No, that's such and such song." Yeah. And or somebody will say a line like, "I know exactly where you took that line from," because I do the same thing. If you're inspired by it, you know, like, so it's just beautiful, but it also can get exhausted when you don't do it right, because there's a lot of people, and that's just my opinion. You feel me? A lot of people ain't doing it right. How does it get exhausted? Oh, like listening and listening. Hearing. Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. it's, it's, it's tired. Yeah, the yeah. same sounds and stuff, 100%. Yeah, I mean, and I'm not going to lie, no disrespect on the West Coast at all. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because now I get it. You feel me? I got some songs that fit. But for me, being from Ohio, when I first moved out here, I was in Seattle. Oh, okay. And it's so still West Coast. It's West Coast. Yeah. And, and, and a, lot of people, a lot of people will be like, you're not from the West. Like, Seattle is literally West Coast, West Coast bro. Oh, West Coast. Seattle, Oregon, Washington. West it's West Coast, Coast. up and down. Yeah. Like, that's so, West. West. Or people that say like uh, Vegas, New Mexico. Like it's certain. Yeah. There's so many places that's West Coast that people will be like, oh, and you're not from Vegas, the West Coast. Like, you know what I mean? Didn't even know where Vegas was until I moved to. Oh, you are not on front, bro. I didn't know which direction it was. Some like, parts that's so important, though. I, don't don't know where you're going. Just know what you want. Yeah, yeah. Because all the rest of that stuff is just crazy. I'm like, like yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. Man, it's a place. Mm -hmm. It's like if you go to Vegas, it don't feel like LA. Why no, it's not LA. Like, but the West I'm just saying, West Coast like, is not close to it. Like, yeah, no. environment. Yeah. So why would I expect them to be close to each other? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. I've never been to neither. Right, 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 right. That's a oh, but uh. Oh, what was the last thing I was saying? Uh, you were speaking about it's the socket. It's the socket time. Yeah, it's the time. Yeah. We gotta pause. Go ahead yeah. and shout out to the socket. The socket will definitely. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Is, yeah. If it's socket, go ahead and take it in. When you go visual, yeah, yeah, yeah. When guys meet up, because period. Kings on kings on kings. One time for the one time. You can't make a reminder. Yeah. Let me take it off. Oh, how it gets uh, tiring hearing mm -hmm. stuff over and over. But what was I about to say? But you were saying, like, no disrespect to the West Coast. Oh, when I first moved out here, bro. Yeah. I was just in niggas' cars. And yeah. after, like, a week, I was just like, Where Ain't you the same? <laughs> and I wouldn't say it wasn't the same, because I could tell it was a different song or a different yeah. person. But I was like, where is he from? Yeah. And literally for the first probably 10 times, it was somewhere in Washington. And then once I was finally wrong, the bag. I was like, bro, y'all killing me, bro. Like, and yes, then it was L.A. And I was like, can you pause this? Yeah. Y'all realize all of these had the same, like, core elements, right? Like, I've been guessing that these were West Coast rappers <laughs> since I got here. And I haven't missed once. And you're not going to miss. And this is why you're not going to miss. And as, as a West Coast artist, um, I'll say this. As somebody, I'm not, I'm not from L.A., you feel me? But... But Inglewood for sure my second home. You feel me? I'm from the beach, but Inglewood my second home. Um, and everybody in in Southern California for sure. Ninety nine percent is is rapping like the same six dudes. Similar, and, and it's not even always the rap and the cadence. It, no, it, it, no, it don't even it, just. It, no, no, I'm gonna say this. It don't even just be. The rap <laughs> because I, I listen, bro. I'm telling you, like, and it's no shade because I also do that, yeah, because it's, it's something I, I have in, in your, in your I, belt. I but when, every, you feel me when everybody is doing everything the same, and it's like there's a there's a trending thing, like, where everybody is on the west coast ass right now about it, like, the music, bro. Music, every song, like, like, no, again, no disrespect, yeah. every blue face song, yeah, the production sounds like it was a blue face song, yeah, and so. Someone from here is like, oh, this nigga did it like this, this, this. I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah. I was like, bro, at a certain point in time, like, just because it's hard don't mean you gotta do it. Man, you got you got the blue face, you got the 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 one takes, Jay Quan is a couple of them, you feel me? You got Draco and, and the Stink team. No, you I got really excuse me. You got um Nipsey. You got the thing is, there's so Nipsey, many bro, some of Nipsey's stuff, I wouldn't have guessed. 
But what, what, one thing that made Nipsey so dope to me, you feel me, um, was that before and after and during, like, he can rap a lot of different ways. And so, especially his early stuff, he was getting, like, East Coast flows. He was getting and that's what South makes flows. it, like, all right, bang. Even if the beat's the same, like, yeah. you feel me? But no, even, even his beat's the same, same, what is yeah. the beat's like? And so with Nipsey, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get tired of it. Because right. it's not like I don't like it. It's just like, bro, like, I need a different... Yeah. Just some switch up. Too much of anything. You feel it's your favorite exactly. meal. Whatever your favorite meal is, you eat it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're going to be tired of you, That's not going to be your favorite meal. Yeah. It's like, all right. So. Play the song when we doing this, but please, bro. I would be like, nigga, play Drake. <laughs> bro, let's play some Drake, bro. All right. Shout out to the Jew boy. You feel me? You feel me? And I, no disrespect. Like, like one thing about him is you're going to get something different. Every Win, time. lose, or fail. Every you're gonna time. Get, you're going to get something different. Not every, every third time. You might yeah. get three singles or yeah. three songs, but just today I was listening to uh, "If You're Reading This," and yeah. Lil Shotty had never heard the whole project, mm. and she was like, "Yo, this is the same project. This yeah. is the same project." I was like, "Yes, like this the one is with his uh daddy on the cover, right?" Uh, more life. I think it was more life. It was like the playlist, whatever joint. Like, it, I, I there's like three Drake albums that I slept on. Like when he first came out. He, as a matter of fact, Drake was the first album I listened to when I got out the feds. That's crazy. My sister, my sister in law, shout out to, to Lil Dice. I, she played the song. She was like, This the hottest dude in the streets right now. Watch out for him. Bro, like, the right? fact that she showed you that, that's love. You feel me? She's like, All right, look, before you even start, you listen need to, to, this. to this. And I, <laughs> we rode a blunt. She picked me up. You know she picked me up from the airport. We're going, we going to, the, to the city so I can get on another plane to come back home. I was in Philly at the time. And so she played the album the whole way. We had a a, a nice little drive. Which one? Uh, was it More Life? No, it was uh, Take Care. Take Care. Yeah. No, not Take Care. Was it the, it was uh, the one where he was on Thank Me Later. Yeah, Thank like Fall Me Down or After Step No, nah, no, nah, it was Thank Me. I heard that one. I heard that one. Like, niggas get shit in jail. But I heard the next thing. <laughs> but the album, it was like Thank Me oh, Something. Thank Me Now. I just realized. Whatever. I not just realized. I found out this past week why he named it that. It what? was Rush. He didn't oh, have the time he wanted to spend on it. So he didn't even think that it was up to par. So he was telling people, like, this isn't the one. Thank me later. Wait for the shit that I've been waiting on. You feel uh, me? And I was like, that's funny. That's actually a funny thing. And that shit just it, it shook the game because, for one, there was, there's been a lot of people in history that, that's tried to sing and rap. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even going to go down the whole list. But we can talk about Domino. We can talk about like, even just on the West Coast. There's so many people that could rap, but also could sing. And so whatever whatever was in the cars in the universe, so it be it out. that it worked out for Drake. You yeah. feel me? Trey Songz was upset maybe about that he wanted to rap and Bro. also sing. There were so many people. You know what you I was me? thinking about? I was like, how do Trey Songz feel? Because he's like 50% of the reason that Drake was getting the looks he was before Young Money. Cause that was his boy. Yeah. And I was like listening to the Drake like blow up story. Yeah. And it was saying that Trey Songs was like in his own label meetings. Talk right, about listen to this. Yeah. It's like damn, bro. Well, I look at it like this, and it's no difference than I have like four, like four for sure homies that if I go in a meeting and they be like, okay, well we're tired of not not tired of hearing you, but let's say we're tired of hearing you. I'm about to play him. Him, him, him. Yeah. Right after me. You feel me? And so I there's I wouldn't feel no type this is just me. I'm not Trey Song. But for me, it's like if I can get my brother in the door, just think about it. Like anytime when when you need something from somebody, you go to your brother, you know, oh, yeah. your your sister or whoever you done made relationships with. Yeah. So I'm gonna look at it like that. Like and not even just for that, just right. for the love. Just because like for me and my wife, we we decided like when we do, you know, and it's on the way. When we get in the industry, we want to be known for breaking more artists in the in the industry, bringing more new artists in the industry than anybody else. That's our goal. That's kind of a, that's a big task. The only reason why is because, and this also segues back to the question that uh, we were talking about earlier. I come up in an era where the people that we looked up to never came back. So, uh, I say that to say this: when when like a lot of the big big artists were in the time, they didn't like really do what they were supposed to do. And then if you notice, like around pre pandemic, 20, pandemic. 
Nah, yeah, we're pre pre pandemic. Mm-hmm. So like around like like 2013, 2014, a lot of the littles came out. I just call it the wave of the littles. So you have the pumps, the skis, the this, the that. All the littles came out. Oh, and then like, 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 no, that came out. I was like, it's still for you. But hear me out, hear me out. So when the when the, the pumps the when the littles came out, right? All these people came out and then everybody was like, Zan. these people don't have I I I got a couple stories about Zan. Shout out to Zan. I hope you're I hope you're doing you your thing, brother. I appreciate you. Um when they came out, a lot of the OGs were like mad for a long time. Like these little niggas don't respect us. They don't Oh bro. Yeah. yeah. It was a big way of disrespecting rap. Right, right, right. You can't rap, you can't do this. Yeah. And 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 this was what I this is what I was telling people. Like, you have to understand that it's like when you have so many people that want to do what you're doing and you never circled back for them and told them, this is how you do it. And I'm going to pull you up and I'm going to take you under the wing. Like if you want a job and you go get an internship, then of course you're going to be like, this person put me on. But when you don't do that and then they get into the game, that was the YouTube, the, yeah. the, the social media. Like, don't be mad at these niggas like, that nobody trained them for it. Nobody trained them for it for what, right? Nobody trained them for it. And he didn't want us here. So now that we're here, we it's fucking ass. Ass. We talk to you. 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 I always seen when I when I when I first seen the um the backstage uh movie. It was a backstage. It was Def Jam. It was a tour. We rep, uh, Man Man rep, uh, Method Man Red Man. Uh, the Locks, Jay Z, DMX. It was they. It was their first drill. And then it was a thing where where Jay Z was like, Yeah, like I'm 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 rapping for the dude right now eating cereal. Whoop whoop whoop. That was still Cole, my was spot. Mind, now yeah. mind you. For me, I'm, I wasn't eating cereal at the time. You feel me? I was I was eating some like fruit snacks. But, I'm like, like but I was watching it like no, we talking about me. You feel me? Right. And, and at the time, I didn't even rap. Yeah. I was just a poet. But I was like, I can do I can do rap, you know. Oh. And so uh, I know J J Cole used it, but that sparked the 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 mental yeah. like of I could be the nigga. That I could be about, the, the person he talking right. about. But then when you come around to it, it's like niggas never came back for us. Like Snoop never came. You feel me? Like. This person never like so. Oh, yeah. So then when they came in the game, it was on some f you shit. It was like fuck y'all niggas. Like we we here now. So then I I, I realized that. But then being being this age, it's like I listen to Griselda. Griselda hard as fuck. Them niggas dumb niggas. You feel me? And they part of that same like niggas never circle back for us type shit. So we made our own way. Yeah. Which the young niggas kind of showed niggas the way to do that. I feel like there's different styles being yeah. starting to happen in a lot. Yeah. Of and I feel like part of that is because there was less of a like staccato. This is what a rapper. You feel me? It, and it was it more does. like. I like this shit and I like this shit and, and I don't want to rap shit. <laughs> so now I'm rapping, but I look like a rock star. Right. Or I'm rapping and I look like a skater. Right. Or I'm this or I'm that. Like and Wayne like, did a whole lot for that too. No, I'm Wayne is the Wayne, Wayne is literally like the epitome of what, especially the littles. Like I'll say this, like myself. Said Wayne brought us the wave of the littles. Wayne he brought the littles for sure. Wayne did it to us. Wayne did it for sure. Like <laughs> mixtape Wayne is probably you the are, most iconic. Mixtape Wayne is probably the most iconic this thing in hip hop culture, bro. other than Future Now, bro. Between since like N.W.A. and like, you feel me? Since the nineties, ninety nine. Shout out to ninety nine Wayne. Wayne is one of the biggest. Him and Drake, bro. Drake, and that's a byproduct of Wayne. Exactly, exactly. It's easy to say. He might All these girls out here, that's the byproduct of Nicki. Byproduct of Wayne. Five, bro. That's one thing that drives me crazy. Cardi B, bro. Being so mad at Nikki, it's like I don't even understand how you guys could have beef. You wouldn't have a lane. Like you wouldn't have a lane if it wasn't for Lil Kim and Foxy, honestly. And when that's where it started. Uh, uh, Yo Yo, shout out to Yo Yo. Shout out to Yo Yo. Feel like she got beef with them too. Maybe it's like we were actually just talking about this. Me and my wife was talking about this. Like so, it's a problem. 
when you get to a position of, of power, right? Yeah. You niggas at the top is collaborating. We're not competing. For the most, you don't compete. You can collaborate. That's because true. one thing I, I've always been taught, I have a lot of older siblings. Sa- I have a lot of siblings. A lot of like older family. And they 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 let us know like there's We've been y'all age before, right? I've never been our age, so that's yeah. one thing, right? But then there's the technology aspect of it. We live Bro. in, we come up, if you was a, a 90s kid, you feel me? Then you, I can only speak from, like, from what I know, you feel you me? You can only speak so, from your generation. Yeah, so for 90s kids, we've seen it all. We've seen everything come. We remember everything that, like, that's you here now. from, like, and, born in the 80s, raising. Raising? No, but Not 90s born kid. in the 90s. Yeah, stick. I'm talking. Yeah, I'm, born in the eighties. Like right if you, if I, I see, I never had one, but it was in my house. ColecoVision, I've seen it. Atari, oh, yeah. I've seen What's it. What's the ColecoVision? Oh, exactly. man, that's old school sound system. It's before Adobe. Yeah, that's before Adobe. That's before Kodak. That's before, 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 before Atari. It's like right there. I know Atari. Yeah, that's, yeah, your, I'm, that's I'm, your, I'm, your first. Go, bro. It's your first. So it's like my eight brother. It's like eight. You know what eight track is, right? So it's like an eight track for game. But yeah, no, but just I'm not saying I'm not saying I've been in college with eight tracks. I've never heard of eight track play. That's crazy. So you gotta understand, like, the mental capacity is always has to be. Let's get sucked up one time. Let's put you on. Let's put you on. Let's talk about the sponsors real quick. So, what it is? So, yeah. One more time for the one time. One more time for the one time. So, they're sitting right here in California. Yes. But the sake is imported from. Japan. Oh. And it's gluten free. Let's go. All natural. Sean said. Healthy drunk. Let's go. Healthy drunk. You drum. can take shots. You can you can drink it like a bottle, a glass of wine. Let's go. Drink it like a Come can on, of beer. Diesel, tell them. It's perfect. Either way, you healthy. And if you drink or eat McDonald's, you already already bad. Right. You drink this you or you wake up. Right. Get into it. I'm trying trying to recreate the will. It says right here. Sip it like a beer. Drink it like a shot. Mix it like a cocktail. Let's go. Either way. Sake high. And, got and if you don't know where to get it, tap into Chef Diesel. You know what I'm saying? Oh. We're going to tag him at the bottom. If you don't know how to get it. They're selling in over 77 locations. Shit. Shit. Let's go. All right. So I'll say this. Back, look, I've seen so many, like, 90s kids seen it all, bro. We're latchkey kids. And, you know, that term means a lot because we're the, we're the era where both our parents, if we had both parents in the home, then you they were gone at work, you feel me? So we had to let ourselves in, let ourselves out. We played outside. We, we couldn't come back in. You, had, you, you stay outside until you stay outside. Outside. <laughs> And if you come in, you can't go back outside. Bro, that boy, let me, let me get back in there. You feel me? It's a lot. That boy thing is the mind body. Yeah. You was not allowed. If you go in and out this door, more than two or three times. Let my fresh air. Ain't y'all punch me all of a sudden. It's like, I don't want to put some water in that house. Because I'm dehydrated. I'm dispersed. It's disgusting. I'm dispersed from 9 a.m. And I feel like that is a million dollars. And now, this is the crazy thing. You yeah. said, so I was so sorry for the last seven, eight hours. Right. I'm crying. I can't go back. I'm asking every person on the block. But you said you hot. Do y'all want to go to water? But I'm just hot and thirsty. Once I get this water, I'm going to be best funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got You parked up bike. They got the 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 bike. They got it's like I, 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 like we're we're in between a lot of generations. Like I think we're supposed to be the quote unquote millennials. I don't know if it's like I didn't see X. I didn't see I don't know which one is Y. I don't know which one is Z. You got millennials. You got these new people. You feel me? No disrespect to the new people, but it's like we we didn't we didn't been through so much that like we we built to last type. Like I think we're the last ones that's built to last. And I'm not saying no disrespect to any other genre uh, or people but we were we were like the last of the mohicans type shit i mean you can't be born and they were selling crack and your parents live and then listen if you're not born you're not born right i don't know what super you are but you're super i don't know what i'm talking super salad yeah i don't know what it is but you are that let's start no i saw this post the other day and it was like sometimes i have to remind myself that we're living in the era of people who was born from crackheads 
Straight up. Straight up. And I was like, that's actually so real. People be acting like What do you think all that crackhead <laughs> kids went? <laughs> and this is how I feel about rap, right? So we was talking about that shit. This is how I feel about music sometimes. Because we be listening to songs and be like, this for sure, this for sure a crack baby. You feel me? There's no way you're not about to tell me that this song that I'm listening to is a perform, written and performed by a crack baby. You feel me? And and, and no disrespect to the crack babies, because you got to make it too, and, and big up for you. But like, when I be hearing like these, I ain't even going to put well, their names it, out it, here. It, it, it takes me? away from the fact that the, the true death. Oh, my God. Like, I, like, I can hear like, it. I hear, I hear exactly what you said. But it's still no fact. That Johnny thought about it though. It's still funny. I'm a nerd, bro. Like I'm. And that's what. And that's why he's dumb. Let's just revert back to dumb. That's exactly why. I hear these niggas like you know what? I've been thinking in my. I'm not even mad about these songs. I'm not upset. You perpetuating the same thing, or even this. Remember all the kids that used to wear the little helmets and ride the short bus, and they'd be like, "What do you think that? What do you think that?" Like the same kids is making music no, now. No, you know what's they actually got it right. but not funny. That's my it was a homie that I went to school with, bro. Yeah. Who was you feel me? Yeah. In one of those classes, and that nigga whore. He was rapping. That nigga jacked, battling everybody, ready to battle everybody. Yes. To battle everybody yes. Yes. He knew he was hard. Fifty Tyson. It's that confidence. Fifty Tyson. We don't teach everybody that it's confidence more so. Oh. In the back of the of the chat and in the IG that didn't catch it the first yeah, time. Yeah, for that part, it's hard because like before people even decide they're interested or want to see, you gotta look familiar at least, not even interesting familiar. Right. And you know it's crazy with that. I don't remember exactly when the like wall study rule whatever, but one point they did a study. It was like in order for something to become familiar to somebody and memorable, it takes four to five touches. Huh, like clicks. Yeah. Oh my like, God. You got to repeat it about three to five times before. Yeah. Being in a commercial on a Absolutely. radio, whatever. Four or five times. You're exactly right. Oh, I'm associating it with something. What's up? Now, well, it's like eight to ten. And the reason why is because the oversaturation from one. Yes. And, and then and then you have like brand. Yeah. So we was talking about um on topic but segue ish. Um, <clears throat> Nicki Minaj. Uh, everybody was talking about her album and the oh, lack of rollout. So. So the reason I bring that up is because I don't, back in the day, everybody had a rollout. When you had an album... But Can you explain to your audience what a rollout is? Yeah. What's, explain what's to what's your rollout? audience what's what a rollout. For those so people for who don't rollout, understand what that means. A rollout is like a press or like a press release. You're going to have... Um, you're going to have... A couple of different genres. So let's say back in back in the day, it was magazines, a mixtape. An album um, release a, party. A, a radio tour. Mm -hmm. You were going to have um, probably some shows. Or maybe even a small gonna, city tour. You know, like, I'm no still in LA, tour. but I'm like LA, Inglewood, Carson. So it was just like, getting yeah. the world ready for what was about to come. And usually um, it could run you to six break the to artist. Six to a year. It, 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 well, it, time-wise, it could run six months to a year. Uh, yeah, especially a year. And then, and then money wise, it could be anywhere between like ten to a hundred to half a million dollars, depending, depending on, on the brand. Depending on the brand, for a rollout. Because your this rollout is, is great artist. That's like I mean, that's a like commercial. But this, this yes. is not a bar. Like, so this yeah. is from, like so I'm saying, like from anywhere, depending on the budget, depending on the label, depending on how big they think you are going to be, can be. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. all of that. So, so now you have to think of the the microwave generation. Nobody's trying to spend half a million dollars for something that they don't even know. Time. They don't even know. Now, you won't know. Not even. Yeah. Even they don't, with they don't even believe know. the vision because the vision wasn't. It's it just wasn't there. Now, it was no. given to them. So it I'm like, just, why am I putting my money here if so and so told me to do the video? It's like I don't believe in this. I'm not putting a hundred thousand dollars into this. I'm gonna put ten thousand and see where it go in reality. Or, or you like like a lot of the big names. What they've been doing is their rollout is the the surprise album. It was just because I didn't want to. I didn't want to put out a role. That's the I didn't replacement blow that. for it. Huh? That's been the replacement for it. The replacement is a surprise. The, no, baby, don't even lie to them. The Honestly, no, the replacement is the Instagram followers and the Instagram influencers. The replacement is I came like like how you got these interviews. Big Diesel got the interview tonight. You feel the, me? The you could have you could have had a lot of stuff going on. You could have been playing the song, the talking of, about something that was on. Yeah, track. but yeah. I, you're right. She she's right as fuck. Yeah. People go on other people's people. People go off of social media. You like it? What's I like it. Yeah. What's, what's, what's the video? Oh, oh we just got done talking about. This. We don't know the album. Maybe after this, we'll do a little teaser or something. How many songs do you know that you don't know until you realize you saw it on Instagram? You like you had a bar, you had shoes, and that's your cousin's birthday. She's fucking eleven years old. I know. 
Instagram thirty seconds. Oh, I saw and then they're like, I'm gonna do the rest of it. Any song I know on the radio, it came off my phone first. Oh God, and they're like, hey, my neighbor knew. Whole time you don't know the album, you don't know the artist, you don't know the song. All you know is it was trending. This is a thirty second trending sound that keeps trending. They keep hearing. Yeah, but you don't even have the artist name. You can't even look cause up. That's the problem. That's the problem. Actually, no. I was telling my cousin because uh, my whole family. If you're a male in my family, you make music. It's oh, pretty I love much that. what it is. I love that. And so we we're just talking and just like, yo, like, what would you do? Or like, how would you the change of things? Because we've been talking about doing this and doing that since we were even twelve. Yeah. It's like before, we were like, bro, I need a CD. Like, yeah, I'm in the mix. I need the posters. I, I want need the, the, I need the, the, the lyrics. I need the whole. I need the whole jug. And so it's like and now, I was like, what would you even do? And I was like, honestly, if I had a tape, I wanted to put out. Yeah, I would take three to five songs, make three to five pieces of content for Instagram and TikTok, right? And put a thousand dollars behind us for each one of those on every platform. Yeah. And do one song for a couple of weeks, a second song for a couple of weeks, the third song, and, see and then announce the yeah. and, and just and not make the the first song. Song. And once you already get the analytics from those first three, you know what's five. You do those same ads for the whole project, and right? Then, and then you you do a couple shows, see because this is the this is the transference as you see what 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 because some some songs will be good to listen to, and then other songs will won't be good, be good to perform, perform. yeah. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they buzzing, they love this song. But then you go try to perform it, and they be like, nah, this ain't it. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. So, you know, that's why, like, as an artist, we just be kind of all over the place. Because we're just making. We're, we're creating. Yeah. You know? So, so a lot of times when we do that, like, some stuff get lost in translation. Yeah. So you might want to have, you might have to do one, two, three. You feel me? And see what hit What's there, what hit that. Yeah. You feel me? Which is good for, like, analytics and stuff like that. But sometimes it just be like, this 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 it you feel me and and every so often you'll get some of those or one of those or a couple of those and be like yeah these are, we when's the last good. time you feel like you had one of those like this is it right so, this album I got I got like this album nice <laughs> I got a, I got a few man I got a I got a few like I'm not gonna say don't say nothing because I don't have time well I'm gonna say something <laughs> Listen, um, okay. we got we got three singles that's coming out and we we bust so this album actually is um dedicated to hip hop like. This year has been the 50, uh, 50th anniversary of hip hop. And so what I dedicated this album to is the things that inspired me to make music. So a lot of it, um, and then I really wanted to bring fun back to hip hop, but also bars. Like I'm not doing none of the, the I'm not doing the crack baby rap. Shout Shout me, I'm not the bars, bro. Shout out to Shout out to Shout out to Let's go. Um, when Kings meet up. So I dedicated this, like, to me, like, my era, like, being a 90s kid is different than a lot. Um, so we, I wanted to pull from, like, when I was little, sitting in the in the car, and then, you know, like I said, I'm the youngest of a lot of siblings. So when I was young, like, my sister was bumping, like, far soccer. They was bumping, like, Diggable Planets, or they was bumping, like, a Cool Mo D, or, you know, whoever it was. Like, like I was able to, to get a lot of range because of my age versus yeah. my siblings age versus my little cousin's age. So I was in the middle of a lot of things so I can pull backwards and pull frontwards, you know? So, um, um, I look at it like I wanted to like the things that inspired me to make music, the people, like I have a song called, uh, Boogeyman, but it's, it's, it's just, it's really, it's really just a rendition of Magoo. Rest in peace, Magoo. You feel me? And then, and, um, he was like, I don't know if you remember the song. He was like, up, oh, Jeff the Boogie. You feel me? Like, so I, I kind of took that portion, but I mixed it with some it other thing. Light. And uh Magoo, I, I, I feel you feel yeah, me? Nice. I also have a I also have a, nice a, a cold freestyle that I did called Magoo Flow. Like he's one of like there's certain like I'm in love with voices. Yeah. Um, and he had just had a voice that was phenomenal to me. Um, but yeah, this project is, is dedicated to hip hop, it's dedicated to like the good vibes, the bars, the, you know, the jump around, the, you know, the lords of the underground, the onyx type sounds, the the hip hop, the the method and red man, the Wu Tang, the, you know, even some NWA, um, what changed music for me? Because growing up, I love it. I didn't even know what West Coast rap was, yeah. honestly. Being from the West Coast, 
Like I just knew it sounded good. It sounded scary. And so what changed the game for me was Snoop. Yeah. Doggy style dropped and it changed the game. I heard that like Lottie Dottie. Lottie Dottie. Like even though that was a, a take from Slick Rick, it was just like yeah. when I heard somebody that was also from Long Beach and he coming in with this and that and like the way his his voice was like was smooth, it was smooth, chill. it was player. He and wasn't he was, coming at you like, like you feel me, but he was also like, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Like don't try, like, don't try. But I was not gonna approach you. Yeah, the party gonna yeah. 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 stop until yeah. yeah. my yeah. mama come. You feel me, like, yeah. um. So like all of that, like I, I just I just thought about that, like when I kept seeing the award shows, and then I have a lot of people that were in the industry that I'm familiar with, um, between them and their kids and their nieces and nephews. And I was like, when did I fall in love with hip hop? And then I I I, I realized like. This moment, that moment, this yeah. moment, you feel me? Like, so you pick all the I picked all the, the things that, that I love and, and did and, your and, own. I, and I did my own twist yeah, to that. That's dope. Especially for you saying like you just sitting down and just realizing, right? yeah, all of this is just callbacks, man. <laughs> so what, 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 what really told me up though is uh, we watched the hip hop awards, mm -hmm. and they they was given an award to. Uh, I'm the Saki hitting right now, so you know, bro. The Saki, shout out to the Saki. Shout out to the Saki. This happened to me um, two episodes before, right? I don't know who was they. They was honoring my man that invented sampling. Molly Marvin. Mo Molly Marvin. He's What's the one sorry? who invented samples. You're welcome. Man. I didn't know that. He invented samples. There's and he's alive. Never created one. He's alive. No. But like you know how we, you know how we be like, ooh, ooh, I like the way this this one moment sounds. Cuz made his whole entire like. He took sounds from everybody's sounds and made one of them. He took sounds from R and B artists mostly. It was like So in reality, like when Diddy was like, Oh, this is the remix, it was came from Marty Mar. We thought it was Diddy. Like, oh Diddy, this is the remix. We were like, Oh yeah, this is the No, no, no. He created it. Not only is he still alive, when we watched him And nobody on stage, no 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 shade to you, but nobody in there like when they said that so Timberland and Swiss Beats introduced him. Mm -hmm. And they gave their rendition of how much they loved what he did and what he did for hip hop. This is the 50th anniversary. And then you had all the, you know, the new people and the, and the littles. Nobody you know, stood everybody, up. Nobody stood up. Nobody clapped. Nobody gave I know who Marley Marr is. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I, you, but I didn't know. If you said, right. But I, the next, bro. So, so, my, 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 we, we, so we previous to this. Like, yeah. We had previous to this. We did a we did a we did the poll where we were listening. We were like, we just gonna listen to the radio because yeah, I'm like on some Lil Wayne shit. I only listen to me. You feel me? Like yes. I only listen to me. It's not like that. I, I hate. It's not. I listen to my favorite rappers. No, okay. And then nothing that came no, out in the last four, five, eight, six. Man. No. Yeah, I hear you. So I'm we doing that. And we was like, we gonna listen to the radio. We got to like the first ten songs, and we was like, none of these are original songs. We got to like song twelve. It was original. My then we got to a song like 26. It was a original. Right, right. Then we like it was like three songs out of like 27 songs that were original, didn't have nothing to do with nothing else. They were original right. songs. They were probably inspired, but you couldn't hear where they were inspired. Right, right. It wasn't like now, every a every everything else was a remake or a remix or a take. You don't have me in the car to the radio. Because really, you we, have we listening, studied bro. the whole like why artists are doing this now? Right. Well, we get it. We Do you have a, a C charter? It's yeah, almost yeah, like you know, like right. if you don't, if you I'm don't have one hundred percent of the originality, why not get forty percent of it? So if you're Tamar or you're Tony Braxton, oh no, right? it's the reason hey, is because it's like bro, I, I, can I can guarantee, I can guarantee, you don't like this yeah. because you already like you know it already. I can take yeah, it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. but it's the it's it's but then the problem is you don't do it right. Yeah. Because now I'm, I'm basing what you're doing upon the song that I already love. Yeah, and if so you don't not hit the much, mark, it's your song. Not even just that, because that's the bread aspect. Because a lot of these people ain't getting paid. It's like the 60 40 split. It's like, yeah. oh, but no, but, but, but so here's the story. Here, here, just get a low cut and yeah. get on this one. The problem is, as the listener, when I hear your song that's